Now I'm going to show you how to unlock the locked door in Vault of the Formless. So you have to go back to the boss room a second time and wait for this one to rotate so you can come through this first one, just like you did for the boss if you already fought it, which I hope you have at this point or how you don't, otherwise you wouldn't know the locked door exists. Uh, well, actually, it's other locked doors, come to think of it, which you can get by just going down the elevator and then going around on those other ones halfway. Depending on the generation of this thing, this is the one thing that's for sure locked door will be here no matter what generation you have a Vault of the Fortress. Anyway, uh, we're going to go through this way now. And we're going to go to the second phase of the boss. And now here is where we do something different in order to get the second item. So we need to go inside of this before he rotates it. And now we stand inside of this and we literally just wait until he rotates. And I got... I didn't get lucky. Sorry. Wait. Oh, he's sorry. He's rotating. Now he gave me like optical illusion. Okay. We're literally going to wait in here for like however long it takes, a minute, two minutes, whatever. I'm going to skip ahead for it, but we're going to wait in here until he rotates it. And this will rotate us into a secret area that we'll need in order to open the locked door. Okay, so he's finally rotating it. And he'll rotate it over to this. And then that will create a door, a place that we can go into. And now we head into here. And inside of here is House, House Lithla Glyph. And this is what we need in order to open up that door. So now from here, we can go here. And we can open up this door from the inside. And now we're at the end of the second stage of this boss. And now we just head over to the last bridge and we cross it. We just got to get back to the end of this place now. So we'll head over into here and we'll go down this elevator now. get into here and we'll go left and then once we get through this place there'll be a drop down that we do like we did in the boss fight and then here is the end of the boss where after you beat this uh, last part then you're done with the boss fight and here's where that locked door is so you go to the locked door and now that we have that glyph we interact with it it'll pop up a menu and we can pick the house Lithla Glyph. And that will let us into the locked door inside of the vault of the formless. So now we go into here. And way back here is an item. Oh, yeah. This item is the Rupture Cannon. So let's take a look at that Rupture Cannon. It is actually a secondary weapon. And 3.1 rounds per second, 42 damage. It's actually a lot uh, for a 12 magazine. A mid-range pistol shotgun with a brisk fire rate and a medium recoil. Slower reload, though. So let's put it on. All right, reload. I mean, yeah, it's a slower reload. It's not totally insane, though. But that's actually pretty good to have um, that much damage. 42 base damage on a 3.1 round per second, but specifically, more importantly, the 12 magazine. But the guy, I guess the difference is its uh, range is not perfect because once you get to mid-range, you look at that spread. So it's really a close range only, close range anti-gun. Uh, but that's it, guys. So that is how to get the rupture cannon and open up the locked door in the vault of the formless.